Today we are eating with locals in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and we're going all around the Mercado Municipal here in Sao Paulo. I don't know any of this. Puero daqueles que estão comigo por dinheiro e quando a fase a like that. Caldo de cana. Nah. We are Nick and Sam Simpson, and this is Sims on the Go. Welcome to the food market in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Good morning, and welcome to our final day here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And today in this Sao Paulo vlog, we are doing something very, very special. Today, I get to see someone that I haven't seen in like 18 years or something like that. She studied abroad in the town that I grew up in, in high school. And we happen to be in Sao Paulo, which is where she lives. We're starting our day at the Mercado Municipal in Sao Paulo. And apparently this has like tons of food, tons of shopping, tons of fruit, tons of everything. And we can't wait to see it, so let's get in there. No time has passed at all. Oh my god, I'm literally so excited. I, I can't even stand it. Oh, okay. Let me introduce you to my beautiful friends here in Brazil. Eu sou o Robson, essa é a Laís. A gente hoje vai no, no dos bares mais antigos do Mercadão, que é o Bar do Mané, que está desde 1933 funcionando no mesmo lugar. Comer o pão com mortadela com os bares. I don't know how to translate this, but I'm Laís. <laughs> and we are going to eat a lot of Brazilian foods. We love eating Brazilian <laughs> foods! <laughs> you can try everything here. There's a lot of Brazilian foods. Seeds, fish, uh, fruits, all of things from Brazil. It's great. All right, first stop is a bar with beer. I already love them. Our beautiful tour guide here is going to tell us something very special about this floor. So, like you said, Tell us, give us all the things. It's very traditional here in Sao Paulo, this floor, because it's Sao Paulo's flag. So we're learning Portuguese. Cerveza is what we say, but they say cerveja, right? Cerveja, and I love cerveja. Pão com mortadela. <laughs> That's his happy dance when he gets the sandwich because I'm going to adopt that. Pastrami for you, no. mortadela for me. But it's not pastrami. No. It's not. No, no, no. It's pork. It's still pork. It's pork. Okay. Is it like traditional to Sao Paulo or is it a Brazilian sim. dish? Bra uh, it's Brazilian, Brazilian, but it's more traditional here in Sao Paulo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I just... Smile! <laughs> oh. Ooh, whoa. So the meat is mortadella, which is an Italian cold cut. It's like it's a pork with cheese, French bread. And I think that's it. I'm gonna try to recreate his reaction because I don't know if I can top that. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Happy dance. Bon, bon garoto. <laughs> Super savory, very delicious. The bread is amazing. Oh man. I might, he said he was gonna get a tattoo of the sandwich. I might get one too. It's that good. Shrimp. Oh, that's one. With um, cheese. That this is shrimp. And katopiri, it's a cheese um, that is very traditional here. Ooh, that looks so good. Shrimp pastel, and we have been here for two weeks and have not had a single pastel yet. So I am so excited to eat this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's it's not 
like super fishy. It tastes like um, a warm cream cheese maybe with the, with like shrimp and like shrimp paste and some vegetables and salt and wrapped in like a pastry, like a fried pastry dough. Ooh, that is so good. Yeah. Okay, this is Bolino de Bacalao, which I probably am not doing a very good pronunciation of that, but it is bacalao, which is fish. And it's like a little bit drier and kind of looks like the cochina that we had when we were in Rio de Janeiro. So this is what it looks like inside. It smells delicious, it smells salty, it smells fishy and amazing and herbs and all the goodness. So, oh, that was a big bite. Ooh, that tastes like a cochina. It's like a mashed potatoes that they put bacalao in and like herbs and then they fry the outside is what it tastes like. But they were saying that if we put some lime on it, it tastes even better, so. Mmm, it's better with the lime. Not only was the sandwich very, very delicious, but I'm walking away with probably the most epic souvenir. It's the sandwich we just ate. How awesome is that? So this is like a very traditional sandwich here in Brazil, but apparently here, specifically in Sao Paulo, but that's the place to get it. So delicious. Brazilian seasoning? Yeah. It's from Bahia. It's a Brazilian spice that we will it's probably from get. Bahia. From Bahia, which we're gonna go to next time because it sounds amazing. Okay, yeah, can I smell? Ooh! It's oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> he did warn us that you would sneeze when you smell that. Ooh, it's lingering. This market is absolutely amazing and you can buy everything from going to a restaurant, there are fruit and vegetable stands, there are meat stands, there's like souvenir stands. I think there are clothes at some places. We would have never come here without them, but you could spend all day here eating, drinking, like meeting with friends. So definitely put this on your list in Sao Paulo because it is absolutely amazing. Essa é a matéria-prima do etanol, que é um combustível tipo gasolina. Tem etanol nos Estados Unidos? Uh, do you have alcohol to fuel up the gas in the car? Oh, yeah, like petrol. Here in Brazil, uh, ethanol is made uh, of sugar cane. Yes. And also this drink. So am I yeah. drinking ethanol? Yeah. Or? <laughs> you will get really drunk. No, I'm with kidding. Great, with lemon juice. <laughs> this looks Hello, great though. Hello. He wants to sing. He wants to sing. Sing? Portuguese? Portuguese. E senhor, me livrai do lobo em pele de cordeiro, do amigo falso que é traiçoeiro, daqueles que estão comigo por dinheiro, e quando a paz acaba não é mais parceiro, que o senhor esteja sempre a me guiar, seja o meu pastor, o meu bom olheiro, pois só no senhor eu posso confiar. Só o Senhor é bom e justo e verdadeiro. Só o Senhor é bom. Só o Senhor é bom. Bravo! Fala seu nome. Fala seu nome. Oficial é. Pode seguir no Instagram? Fala, fala, fala. Oficial é me seguir da BM. Ai! Eu sigo vocês de volta. Vocês me seguem? Tá bom, tá bom. Saúde! Saúde! This is a. Caldo de cana. That. Oh, it's sweet. So I guess you drink this with pastel, which is that shrimp food that I had at the last place. And you drink this with it, which I totally get because this is sweet and that was really salty. So it like balances them out. But ooh, it's good. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna do my happy dance. Happy dance. <laughs> with the lemon. Very, very tasty. Without the lemon, it's just like raw sugar cane juice, which is like, maybe if you add it to alcohol or something, but with the lemon, I could just drink this all day. No, here, I don't want to eat. Ah, I've already 
Tá igual a forcinha, rapaz. This is kaki. Kaki? Kaki. Nothing like any fruit that I've ever tried. What is it? What does it taste like? Kaki. The skin is very, it's like a little tough with the inside. The texture of like a peach, I guess, but not at all like a peach. Kind of like a papaya. Like the flavor of papaya where it's like kind of sweet, but not really sweet. It's really good. You cannot eat it as good. It looks like dragon fruit. What do you like? Yeah. It's dragon fruit? It's like dragon fruit. The dragon fruit is not sweet. Okay, so this is like a kiwi, and they call it a kiwi banana. There we go. That's actually like a kiwi banana. Dry date with fig. Wow. Dry dates are really intense with flavor and figs are like really mild so it balances them out nicely delicious all right i guess it's closing up it apparently it closes at 5 p.m but it opens at 5 a.m Clearly this is like a morning, afternoon thing. So we got here around 2.30 p.m. Clearly that's not long enough. So get here very early and spend the whole day here. So he's teaching us like a, a I guess a friendly handshake that you call it. Yeah. It's like that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Over together. We were just told that this market is actually a major export market here in Sao Paulo. So a lot of the vegetables and the fruit come from this region and it gets exported outside all over to Brazil. And we also learned that this market has some very hiked up prices. So it's a little bit more expensive here and you're not gonna be coming here to buy the cheaper fruit. I guess we are driving to the next spot. <laughs> All right, we have been told that they are taking us to one of the most famous pizza places here. And I'm always down for pizza. One thing we have noticed walking around Sao Paulo and like driving around is that the street art here is so cool. Like there will be buildings where like the whole skyscraper will just be like a, a mirror on one side. It's absolutely incredible. And I wanna know how they do it. So if you know how they paint those, let me know in the comments because unless you have cranes and ropes and things, I don't know. We wanted to say a big thank you to our beautiful, beautiful friends here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We loved it. It was the best day ever. Obrigada. De nada. We're so Muito. grateful. Muito. Muito obrigado. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, show everyone because we think everyone should come to Brazil. Brazil has been so fun, so amazing. We're so appreciative of our friends showing us around tonight. And if you want to keep following along on our adventures, hit that subscribe button because we have so much coming up. But thanks for sticking around with us on our Sao Paulo vlog today. And until next time, We'll see you on the go. She studied abroad in my small town. She studied abroad in my neighborhood. My town. Okay. There is made with uh, corn. Here is made. Uh, no, it's all wrong. I'm saying it again. Like the dried fruit taste, like dried things, no. But thanks around for sticking.